Here we go. There's the logo. We launched it, oh, two days ago now. Okay, let me just shimmy in here with our sample box. Okay, do you know where your running gear is made? That's not the QD. Actually, let's do it now. Question of the day. Do you prefer to race in a singlet or a t-shirt? And why? And then also, does it change depending on the distance that you're racing? Fascinated to hear a lot of people. All right, well, oh, where is it? There it is. It's live. There's the new logo. There's the new racing singlet. All right, there's the website, runsignup.com backslash DGR2023. That's where you can order this singlet. And you don't have to, so I want to give some clarifications before I explain this entire process to develop our DGR running gear. All right, here we go. First of all, first clarification, international shipping, 100%. We will ship anywhere in the world. But what I said yesterday is that it's just expensive right now. I don't know if it was expensive two or three years ago, but now it's very expensive. We will ship anywhere in the world, UK, Malaysia, Australia, Chile, doesn't matter, but it's just expensive. So that was my warning. A couple questions popped up about that over on Strava. Second thing, vertical challenge is total vertical feet gained between April 15th and April 23rd. Wanted to clarify that. A couple people were asking, Seth, is this just a one day event? No, 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 it's all the day. So it's like, a, it's fun. It's like, a, it's fun because you start getting like 30,000 feet, 40,000 feet. Uh, people starting to, you know, go higher than Everest type of deal. So it's like a nine day event, vertical challenge. Um, true to size. I went true to size for my singlet. People were asking, what's the fit like? Keep in mind though, I prefer my singlets to have a little bit of airflow, meaning I don't like my singlets to be too tight because I want to make sure I'm, I'm getting enough air onto. And by the way, look at some of those holes. We're talking very, very breathable fabric. Okay. So wanted to mention that. And then of course, men's and women's cuts are available. All right. Men and women. So you don't have to worry about unisex. It's men and women, different uh, cuts for men and women. And the sizing is explained on the website as well. And yes, registration is live. The registrations are rolling in. It's exciting. I don't know. Actually, I don't know which distance I've heard a lot of 10 K registrants right now, but also 50 K. So anyway, registration is live. Now, Seth, you might be asking, why did it take you so long to get the logo done and launched to the world? That's the key word, and launched. The reason was, again, is that we had to find the fabric. And that's what I'm about to explain to you right now, the entire process, okay? It was wild. And I'll, give, I'll break down the timeline. Print on demand, okay? So what is print on demand? This is print on demand, meaning I have no risk. There's no overhead. There's no, so this is just printed through Teespring. You guys have probably heard of T. If you have this shirt, it, I had no control over the quality production, the production of quality for this shirt, meaning another company was in charge of the print, the shipping, sourcing the material. Okay, that's print on demand. And frankly, last January 2022, I was wrestling in my head like is that the right path to go I've never done this before I had to teach myself to develop all of the racing gear the entire uh, an entirely new industry I was so it was so foreign to me I'd never done this before and so POD print on demand it was the first option okay second option collaborations oh my goodness so many companies reaching out to me, not big ones, we're not talking like Nike or Saucony or Reebok, but smaller, like companies you have heard of in the running apparel space, you know, I, I'm not gonna mention names, but many of them reaching out over the past 18 months saying, Seth, we'd love to take your brand, your name, your logo, and do a collaboration with you, whether it's a running hat, whether it's running socks, oh my goodness, running <laughs> okay, I'm just laughing, uh, whether it's uh, a singlet, whether it's a jacket, and I just said, Ugh, it doesn't feel right. You know why? Because I lose the quality control. I could not control where our brand, and it's not my brand, it's our brand is ending up on random material sourced from who knows where in the world. So that's why you haven't seen us collaborating with all these other comp all these other running companies that are already established and frankly they put in the work. I would it would be so it's so easy to collaborate because you just send them the logo and you say there you go and it's it, you're done. Like your work is kind of done but you get to get your branding out there and I'm like eh it feels too easy. So collaborations was another option last January and I said no. All right, it just what well, it didn't feel right for DGR. 
Next option, blanks. Here we go. Soul, uh, I appreciate you sending this, Soul Roots Running Company. So they sent me this, I appreciate it, and it's a pretty good singlet, not bad, not bad, um, but this is just a Brooks singlet, okay? So a blank is where you order, you know, let's say 100 singlets, and from Brooks, from New Balance, from Boa, from, uh, what's it, well, Rabbit, you can order blanks that has no branding from the, the, the company creating it except on the tag. I can't tell you how much I geek out now about tags. So what does this say? Brooks, designed in Seattle, made in El Salvador. Okay, nothing wrong with blanks. It's, well, no, there is something wrong with blanks. I shouldn't say that. You lose control. Again, who is making this garment? What are the working, I'll just say it. What are the working conditions of the place where this singlet is being made. I don't know. I've never been there. I've never been to El Salvador. Um, so whether it's Vietnam, whether it's China, whether it's, well, okay, let's get into it right now. Uh, this is where the story gets a little crazy about developing the singlet. So I thought in my mind, I have to work overseas. Like nothing's made in America anymore, right? That's what, that was my perception nine months ago. So I started researching and researching, where do I print a running, sh a running shirt? And I, I found a company and okay, I'll just, well, where is it? Where is it? Uh, yeah, here it is. So I actually like this. Um, it's a little different take on our logo. Can you see it there? There. Okay. See, it's a, it's actually, the fabric isn't bad. It's a little heavy for my liking. It's be a little too thick. So I, I sent our logo over, uh, to this, I'll just say sh Sri Lanka. And you may have, I don't know if you follow the news, but they have 42% inflation in the past 12 months in their country. This factory in Sri Lanka, shut down, totally shut down. I got an email in about April. So this, we were about to move forward. This is just a sample, okay, just a sample. We were about to move forward with an order. This is about, you know, April timeline. I get an email and out of the blue, no warning, we're shutting down. We have to shut down. What? What? I mean, I was, I, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. I, I really couldn't believe it. Okay. So that's, uh, so that is, so, okay. So this is cut and sew. Cut and sew where you're sourcing the fabric, you're cutting and sewing, but you're losing quality control. Meaning you're losing the company. The company is going out of business. I just, it blew my mind. So that was April. Okay. That's when I said, okay, we're going to pivot to the United States. I don't want to deal with um, uh, supply chain issues. And as, if you, again, if you follow the news, things are a little, a little precarious right now, like literally in real time around the world because of things happening. I'll, I won't go into the geopolitics, but it's getting a little crazy out there. So that's when we got, we found, I found a company in Denver, and this was our first attempt at a DGR racing singlet. And this is where I just, um, I messed up. The, the fabric was too thick, it, it, and this is dye sublimation, but the, the, the quality of the ink is really bad. And I didn't know that until I went to this company and he showed me the difference in the, the brightness of the color of the blue and the green, and it was just so obvious. And so I waited six, I was either six, I think it was six weeks, might have been eight, six weeks for this sample. That's how backed up they are, this company. Six weeks, so from July to about mid-August, like, yeah, about mid, it was late August that I got this in my hands and I said, this is not, <laughs> this is not gonna work. I refuse, I, if I'm not gonna race in it, you're not gonna race in it, okay? So that was about August and that's when I was talking to True Love and I said, True Love, I am about to hop on an airplane and go try and find fabric around the world. So what did I start doing? I started ordering swatches, is that how you pronounce it? Basically pieces of fabric from all around the world, okay? So these are just, these are just sourced from all, some in the United States, some from outside the United States, because I said, true love, I, I have to go find the right fabric. How do I find the right fabric, okay? So these are swatches, I literally, I probably have over a hundred swatches, okay? Here's some more of them right there. Here's some more. This bag is full of swatches, just trying to find the right fabric. And guess what? I found some pretty good ones, no doubt, all right? Can you see that there? Very lightweight, very thin. Uh, but then, so anyway, I'm, I'm telling a long story, but I want you to understand, again, what you're buying. 
and what you're racing in and what you're training in. I want you to really understand it. Um, so let me just put these on the ground. Eventually, what I decided is that we're going made in the USA, but also made 20 minutes from my house. Why? Quality control. So every singlet that comes off the, the I'll just call it the, the, from the seamstress. So I can also go down, literally today I could walk in to the place where we're making these singlets and shake the seamstress's hands. I can see the working conditions. I can meet the owner of the company like today if I wanted to. Um, and, and the beauty of it is that this owner of this company, he said, no, 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 no. I know how to find fabric. I know what you're looking for. And he started rambling off all these names, like dropping names of other running apparel brands. And I'm like, okay, this guy actually knows, like he knows what he's talking about because these brands are pretty obscure and unless you're in the running world. And just a couple more points is that this singlet, uh, the tech pack. So the tech pack are the specs for the singlet. All right, so I can, I can impact because I can drive down tomorrow and say, you know what, the shoulders are a little thick. You know what, the seams, we need to adjust a little bit. You know what, how you're stitching it together, just let's just tighten them up a little bit so I can impact the tech pack uh, in real time. I don't have to you know, send an email to somewhere around the world I could drive down tomorrow. Um, and again, based on your feedback, once you start getting, and let's talk about pricing, is $68 after the races, that's gonna be what it goes for, okay? Which, crazy. I'm seeing quite a few singlets now that are over $75. Even a couple companies selling their racing singlets for over $100. Woo! It's, that's, that's pretty zesty for, uh, for my tasting. But 68 is where we landed. But right now, if you register for the DGR Distance Classic, again, run, sign up. The link is down below in the description. It's coming down $28, down to $40, okay? So you register for the mile, you register for the half marathon, whatever distance you choose, this comes down to, you have the option to add this on for $40, okay? So that's a pretty good deal. I mean, again, quality control, made in the United States. I can go and just inspect it with my own two hands to make sure we're not shipping something to you that's poor quality, all right? That's, oh yeah, did I mention dye sublimation? So this printing process, is uh, the ink is first of all high-end ink. There's different types of ink that you can use in dye sublimation. I didn't know that four months ago. And then also this will not fade. It will not fade, okay? So how, no matter how many times you wash it, you race in it, wash it, race in it, it will not fade. So exciting, onward and upward, good racing to come in 2023. Oh, we did it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's the story. Now you know the whole story for what you're buying. Sound good? Onward we go. We will toss it to, um, I don't know, I don't know, something with a logo, something with uh, just getting out there for the distance classic, man. Right there, right there, right there. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow. <laughs>